Those who saw Lawrence Rowe bat tend to make sure the generation that didn't knows exactly what they missed. The elegant Jamaican played only 30 test matches for the West Indies but achieved legendary status. Now at 71, he's watching the current West Indies crop, but success isn't as consistent as his day. But he's particularly impressed with the West Indies white ball captain. I mean, they have a, a relatively um, good man now captain in the, the 2020 cricket side um, in Pollard. I, um, I was always a fan of, the, fan of Pollard and uh, I think that he's doing a reasonable job now of captain in the 2020 team and the one day form. Rowe played at a point in history when all the protective gear the game now affords weren't available. He thinks the upsurge in protection for batsmen has led to the detriment of skill in West Indies cricketers. When you're playing in test cricket, um, where you have, you have to play long innings and you're playing all over the world, where people work in your all the time, your technique has to stand up. Technique is something Lawrence Rowe could teach, but his career was often derailed by injury. He says he was robbed of at least 30 more test matches. I believe if I'd gone through, with, you know, without the injuries, I'd be undoubtedly in terms of numbers and everything up there. we right up there in the probably top five West Indian batsmen of all time. But Rowe was also at the forefront of the changing face of cricket history. He was part of the 1982 Rebel Tour to South Africa. Decades later, this generation of cricketers enjoy what they suffered for. Well, there's two things that has done so much for cricketers around the world is what the Packer revolution and the South Africa revolution. Those two revolutions that, that, that caused what is happening to West, to West Indies cricket around the world today. For Lawrence Rowe, it might have been only 30 tests, but his impact on cricket has lasted over 30 years after his last match. Ryan Bechu, CNC3 Sports.